Hi, this is John with Beer Beer Beer. Welcome to our second video looking at promotional materials for Japanese beer in Japan. Today, we're going to take a look at something from Suntory. It's a little simple device that gives you a bit more foam. I've seen this come in two sizes. One was uh, originally earlier this year around February that was attached to two cans of beer that you'd buy as a set. Uh, more recently, I've seen it in a package like this where you get a nice premium malt bag, a six pack of uh, 330 milliliter cans is inside, and here you get your special glass and foamer set. It's supposed to give you a perfect amount of foam for premium malts. Uh, we're gonna see if it works and see if it helps the beer in its taste and flavor. Let's go make the perfect glass of premium malts. Okay, so here's the box that uh, holds the glass and the special foaming little device. Uh, let's see what it looks like inside. That's it. And this is the glass. It says it has a super premium coating that allows the foam to stay for 1.2 times longer. That's pretty cool. Ah, look at that, that's pretty good. It's uh, pretty thick on the bottom, a little heavy. Looks nice, looks nice, very, very curved. Nice little design, almost kind of like a, like a newer Guinness glass too with these lines they have in it. Okay, let's see if this is the device. Oh. Oh wow. So it's a little cap thing. Mm -hmm. Premium malts by Suntory. You push it up and down, it seems. So it seems to be a pretty simple device that you just, you know, push up and down. Right here. Whoa. It sounds like one of those toy guns. See if you can hear that. I almost expect little sparks to come out or something to make like special beer magic. Actually, there you go. All right, so it seems to be pretty in there pretty well. Let's uh, let's give this a go. Let me go get a can. Okay, so I got myself a nice can of premium malts. Reading the handy dandy illustrated instructions, I think I know what I'm doing. Let's hope so anyway. All right, so first things first, we crack open this one Ooh, smells good and then we pop this on top oh there we go it was a little difficult but it kind of clips on once you get it on there right all right and now first things first so we pour it in Ooh. oh well, it pours pretty nicely so far. I don't see any issues pouring. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. I'd say that's pretty much good enough. Let's see what it is now. So, we hold the can kind of like this. And then we give it a nice little shoo shoot. I guess as we pour out. Oh wow, it's really aerating that beer pretty a lot. Oh, is it gonna come out? Yeah, I'd say it looks like a premium pour. Uh, you know, in Japan, sometimes they really enjoy having a bit more of a foam on the top that allows some of the initial hoppiness and uh, other flavors to come out in the beer before you drink it. Uh, the premium malts is no different than that. They do enjoy having a nice balance between foam and beer. Uh, I have been, when I used to work in a bar, scolded for not putting enough foam, or too much foam in a beer. Uh, too much foam, understandable, but not enough foam. That kind of shocked me. I thought people wanted more uh, bang for their buck, you know, so they wanted a bit more beer in their glass. But yeah, sometimes people are uh, sticklers to what the big breweries say. If they say that you need at least, you know, four or five uh, centimeters of uh, head in your glass, then that's what you should get. That, was make, that makes the perfect beer. Anyway, it's pretty cool for a little gift that you get a nice uh, little foamer and a nice glass. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot and uh, hopefully next time you're in Japan you can find yourselves one too. Uh, if not, let me know and maybe I can get one for you. This is John with Beer Beer Beer. Once again, another promotional device for Japanese beer. 
buy it when you're here, and we hope to see you soon. I'm gonna try some. Yep, foamage.